absolutely hate the cover like absolutely despise, despise it. it hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel as you can tell from today's video we are back with another book haul at this point it is an issue but we are not going to address it i've only got a mini one i've got 10 books here and these are 10 books that i've accumulated in the last month or so okay it is a little bit bad okay whatever i could sit here all day and justify why i've done this but we all know i'm gonna probably do it again anyway okay so the first book i've got is dawn o porter's so lucky i'm pretty sure this is a literary fiction that follows the lives of three women the synopsis says every woman's story has two sides ruby is a mother she feels like she's failing beth is happily married she hasn't had sex in a year lauren is living the dream her happiness is fake news what if you knew the whole truth? I'm pretty sure this will just kind of go into how these women obviously portray a certain type of life to the outside world. And then also we get to see what it really means to them and just the downsides of that too. So I thought this would be quite a nice read. Try and get to it this summer. So yeah. Okay, next I have Sally Thorne's 99% Mine. Sally Thorne wrote The Hating Game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, The Hating Game, which I watched a movie off on the plane and I actually didn't mind it. And I've never read the book, but I thought, you know what, let's pick up 99% Mine. And I'm pretty sure this is a best friend's brother our main female character i'm pretty sure has to renovate like a house or a cottage or something like that and then her brother's best friend comes and you know helps her so it's i feel like it's going to be quite light-hearted and quite sweet in that sense so i feel like this would be an ideal summer read and then the next book i have is another sally thorne book and that is the hating game like i said i've seen the movie with lucy hale and you know what it was actually really cute but because i've not read the book i don't know how it compares to it i like the work rivals to lovers kind of trope but very like the opposites and because he's very grumpy and very like clean cut and straight i'd love to know more about because they kind of skimmed over his conflict like as himself in the movie i felt like that was so glanced over that i'm hoping that the book would go a little bit more into that and you know we can kind of get a bit more depth in the male main character's storyline so yeah so the next two books i've got are in the fantasy um genre i probably won't read this until kind of like the autumn winter time and these are the six of crows and crooked kingdom i don't know if it's a duology i'm pretty sure yeah it's a duology by lee bardugo i'm pretty sure this is a netflix series which i haven't seen but i feel like a ya fantasy would be quite nice to get into i think it'll be a lot easier to consume they're a bit chunky in the sense that it's nearly 500 pages however i feel like that's pretty normal for like a fantasy you know so yeah okay next up we have rin usami's idol burning i am so so excited to get to this because i have heard really good things about it and i also love a good short story and i love asian literature i just feel like this is going to be so quick and so easy to read but the actual plot of it is so interesting because it kind of deals with the super fan and idolizing you know like celebrities musicians whatever and i don't know much else about it but just knowing that it has something to do with that already intrigues me to the absolute heavens so i cannot wait to get to this one too next we have amy lee's set on you which is the first book in i don't know what series it is but i know that um my x's and o's that came out maybe like last year is like book two in this series i think you can read them as standalones but they intertwine so i i'm so funny with stuff like that that even if i know that i can read them as standalones i need to read the first book so i've had x and o's for so long and then i ended up picking this up just because i just i wanted to get to that but i needed to read this first so i'm pretty sure this is based on a fitness influencer and he's like a fireman or something and they kind of have like this i wouldn't say it's like enemies to lovers i'm i feel like it's more of like you know when there's like tension there it's more like a rivals at the gym kind of thing so i feel like this would be really cute i like that she is a curvy fitness influencer as well so i feel like there would be good representation in that in the book as well i also cannot wait to get to this one i feel like this would be great to read just in the sunshine the next book i have it's so annoying because i absolutely hate the cover like absolutely despise it because there is a man on it but anyway 
it's Megan Quinn's A Not So Meat Cute. I know this isn't Kindle Unlimited, but I saw it at the works and I thought, you know what, I've heard really good things about it and I can't imagine this cover changing anytime soon. So I thought, let's just buy the bullet and get it. The reason why I went for it is not because of this gentleman on here, I'm sure he's a very lovely man, but oh, I just hate, I just hate that. But it's a fake dating trope, which is like my favorite trope, I'm not gonna lie. Fake dating, small town romance, like, oh, but yeah, this is fake dating and he's, I think he's rich. Is he rich? Yeah, he's rich, but you know, fake dating. And I don't really know how they get into that, but I just, I'm a sucker for fake dating. So this was just like an automatic buy, so. Okay guys, the next two books I have, I am so flippin' excited about. I, okay, let me just let me just go through them, right? Okay, so I went to my local Waterstones literally yesterday and I was just like browsing, browsing, browsing. And I found If He Had Been With Me by, oh my God, Laura Nolan. Um, first of all, this has been making its rounds on BookTok, Bookstagram, BookTube, everywhere that it's like, I want it. And apparently it's really sad. This was in the YA section though, so I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's about like childhood friends to lovers to enemies or like childhood friends to enemies to lovers, like second chance romance. But I really want to know what this thing that makes everyone like cry because I love books like that. I'm going into this blind basically, so we'll see how, how I feel about this. But because everybody was talking about it, I thought, Let's hop on the bandwagon, shall we? And then last but not least, you can probably see from back here, we have Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. I am a little bit late to the bandwagon. However, I am so excited to get into this universe. I actually, oh my God, I, I'm just so excited. This was kindly given to me by Jen from Instagram. I will pop her link down below. I'm really excited. It is a chunky book though. It is a really chunky book. 419 pages for a romance but everybody seems to eat this up sarah caroli is like love it so yeah i'm just looking forward to to starting and entering the magnolia parks universe i mean need i say more about it it's like toxic relationships apparently it gives gossip girl based in london so i feel like that's even better honestly i am so excited to get into this i need to really be careful though how many series i'm starting because i'm in the shatter me series i'm in the addicted for now series i'm pretty sure this will be very high up on my tbr though because i'm just really excited so guys that is it for today's video hopefully i will not be doing a haul anytime soon because i quite frankly like i say in every video don't really have any business in buying any more books although today i did go into waterstones again and even though ben said i could get a book i was like no because that's greedy anyway i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know if you have read any of those books um no spoilers obviously but also let me know what you thought of it and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet please subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time bye, bye. bye. bye.